Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Calculator Techniques. In this video guys, we will discuss about inverse Laplace transformation. From our previous video, we discussed about Laplace transformation in which the given is uh, f of t function and we have to calculate the Laplace transformation. But now, it is the reverse, the inverse Laplace transformation in which the given is the Laplace transformation and we have to find the f of t function. So, okay guys, we will proceed to example number one. So, what is the inverse Laplace transform of the given f of s is equal to s over s squared plus 81. So, this f of s function guys is already a Laplace transform. Okay, and the trace is, is the f of t function. Okay, guys, so now what we are going to do, the, we will uh, find the Laplace transform of the given f of t, I uh, know, the traces which is, uh, which are f of t function. A, B, C, A, B, C, D are the f of t function. The given f of s is the Laplace function. So we will do the Laplace transform from the choices and we will compare to the inverse Laplace given okay guys so now uh, so our solution will be like this but before that you have to set your calculator to radian mode okay in order to set your calculator you can see here rad uh, r so in order to do that just press shift then mode then press for uh, for radian so now we are already in red uh, r as you can see okay so our solution will be like this if you know a laplace transform has an standard formula without this formula you cannot solve any laplace transformation or any inverse laplace function just always remember this one take note into your mind put it in your mind always during the board exam okay this is very useful guys as far in my experience during my board examination i think more than 10 problems of laplace yes more than 10 problems so i i answered it all all of those questions because i know how to do using calculator techniques with this formula no even if you know how to use your calculator, scientific calculator, calculator, but you don't remember this formula. It's useless, guys. You can't answer any inverse Laplace function. Okay, so we will proceed to our solution for example number one. So the formula is f of s is equal to integral of f of t, which is from our choices. Then kernel function e to the power of negative s t so guys we have f of t we will select from any choices a b c d that is our f of t then our kernel function is e to the power of negative s t the value of s guys as i discussed in a previous video for laplace transformation the value of s should always be greater than the coefficient of t from the given f of t function okay for example guys uh, this uh, from our choices these are all f of t function which has coefficient of t equal to 9 okay in letter a it has coefficient of t 9 b 9 so c 9 coefficient of t now we have to set our s always greater than that coefficient okay so we can set 10 11 or 12 and or so on okay so you must always remember also that s should always be greater than the coefficient of t from the given f of t equation okay so we will proceed guys let s is equal to 11 now we will uh, solve the laplace transform using our s value so s over s squared plus 81 so calculate it is equal to 0 0.0545 so 
we will do it to our calculator a fraction button alpha x we will use x for this solving guys for this problem then move your cursor down alpha x x squared plus 81 then uh, press calc calculate so our s is 11x then press equal it is equal to 11 over 202 or 0 0.05445 so this is the equivalent value of the Laplace transform, transform guys. So we will solve the Laplace transform of the given choices. Okay. The answer here guys is letter B. We will proceed directly to letter B. Letter B is the right answer. So this video will not uh, take longer. So we will answer letter B. We will find the Laplace. Here is our solution, guys. Uh, from formula f of t, which is f of t is cosine 90. Then we will substitute cosine 90. Then our kernel function e to the negative power of uh, e to the power of negative st e to the negative our s is equal to 11. Then t dt, and we will assume our limit is equal to 0 and 15 lower limit is 0 and upper limit is 15 you can set on your own any values which is uh, convenient to you because from our laplace formula the limit will be 0 to infinity any value you can set but if you will move higher values uh, your calculator will take long time for calculation that's why we will set 15 it's up to you also but for this example we will set 15 okay so now we will check from our example our calculator integral uh, don't forget guys uh, that your calculator must be in radian mode otherwise you will get different answer okay so cosine 9 alpha x close parenthesis then shift E negative 11 alpha x then move your cursor to lower limit then 0 upper limit and 1 5 press equal the answer guys is 11 over 202 which is equal to s over s squared plus 81 so the inverse laplace of s over s e square plus 81 is cosine 90 so the answer guys is letter b okay uh, we will proceed to example number two i have made uh, three examples for the for this topic example number two evaluate the inverse laplace transform of f of s is equal to 1 over s squared plus 2s plus 10 okay guys then our solution will be like this uh, laplace transform formula integral of f of t e to the negative s t d t limit to zero and infinity so let s is equal to five please note that your calculator must be in radian mode okay first we will substitute we will calculate the given laplace transform with our s is equal to 5 so fraction button 1 move your cursor down alpha x is squared plus 2 alpha x plus 10 then press calculate uh, x is equal to 5 then press equal so the answer guys is 1 over 45 or 0 0.022 so you can save this value guys to your memory shift store a because 
when you are doing a uh, board examination you have to com you have to compare this value to any of the choices which is the right or which is having the same value okay guys for this example guys the answer is letter a letter a the inverse laplace of the given laplace transform is letter a okay we will check letter a directly during uh, board examination you have to check one by one in order to test what is the right answer which is the right answer okay so here the right answer is letter a but we have to check to verify now we will follow this equation integral sign then fraction one move your cursor down three then move your cursor shift e negative alpha x move your cursor down then sine 3 alpha x then close parenthesis then shift e negative 5 alpha x move your cursor to lower limit enter 0 move to upper limit enter 15 1 5 then press equal therefore guys the answer is 1 over 45 or 0 0.022 which is equal to letter a so the inverse laplace transform of f of s 1 over s squared plus 2 s plus 10 is equal to letter a one third multiplied by e to the negative t sine 3 t okay guys so that's all for example number two we will proceed to example number three this is our last example so guys you have to practice in order to familiarize the formula the formula mm, fam familiarize your calculator so the better you are familiar to your scientific calculator the fastest you are solving the problem okay more practice more more practice guys it will make you convenient on how to solve different approach so different problems so okay example number three evaluate the inverse laplace transform of one over s squared plus four s plus four so now uh, again set your calculator to radian don't forget we have four choices and our formula for laplace transform is integral of f of t e to the negative s t dt then we will let s is equal to 5 okay guys why 5 because s should be and must be always greater than the coefficient of t from the given function so guys this is our f of t function from the choices so we have two two coefficient which is two and two two twos then uh, we, we can assume our s is equal to four or five or so on this example we will use five okay now guys we will uh, calculate this laplace transform with the value of s is equal to five okay so uh, fraction button 1 over alpha x squared plus 4 alpha x plus 4 then calculate x is equal to 5 then press enter the answer guys is 1 over 49 or 0 0.020 4 that is the equivalent value constant value of in uh, laplace transform given then we will check letter b guys letter b is the right answer 0 0.20204 so we will check guys from this solution we will enter this equation to our scientific calculator okay our if of t is t e to the negative 2t from letter b okay so integral sign 
integral sine alpha x then shift e negative 2 alpha x then move your cursor then shift e negative 5 alpha x move your cursor to lower limit then 0 then 15 1 5 then press equal so the answer guys is 1 over 49 or 0 0.0204 which is letter a so the inverse laplace transform of this equation 1 over e squared plus 4s plus 4 is equal to t multiplied by e to the power of negative 2t so don't forget guys always remember that if you find the laplace transform if, if the problem is asking for the laplace transform the given should be like this with respect to t in terms of t okay then the choices will be in terms of s okay guys for the laplace transform when the problem is asking for the inverse laplace so the given is in terms of s and the choices is uh, will be in terms of t so that will be the difference when you find laplace transform you have to find the laplace transform from the given f of t equation then compare to the choices then if the problem is asking for inverse laplace transform then you have to find the laplace transform of the choices then compare to the given laplace transform okay guys so if it's clear then thank you for watching this videos hopefully you will subscribe and you will like this video and support my channel see you for the next video more videos more calculator techniques thank you guys